Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Scouting Report. Greg Lawless alongside Matt Doyle. And in this show, we're looking at Sunday afternoon's game between DC United and Sporting Kansas City. It's on Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch it on Univision Deportes or on MLS Live. And Matt, this is kind of a strange game. I mean, you've got a team in DC United that's at the bottom of the table. Sporting, who should be possibly at the top considering what they have, but they're not. What's the headline for this game? DC United looks like a speed bump to a KC team that finally has all its pieces in place. All those pieces in place, despite their losing three of their last five games. I guess we'll see how that one works. Let's get to the nuts and bolts of this game. All right, we're going to break it down like this. DC, you could sound like a broken record talking about the struggles that they have. They've lost seven in a row. They're at the bottom of the table. They've only scored five goals in their ten games so far this year. Is this the game that they could sort of find their form and, and, and break out of this a little bit? I think everybody would be shocked if it was. As you mentioned, KC have uh, lost three of five, but they haven't looked bad doing it. They just, a couple of mental lapses. DC needs more than mental lapses by the other team at this point. They need some cohesion. They need to set the tempo in the midfield, and they need to start building chances again. They don't have the ability to beat you one versus one all over the pitch like they did last year. Uh, this team has looked kind of helpless going forward. And the pressure has really taken a toll on the, the back line and, and the goalkeeper, Bill Hamid, has made some really uncharacteristic mistakes this year. May have even lost his job as the number one starter to mm -hmm. Joe Willis, who was pretty good against Dallas. So it, just a lot of things have sort of snowballed for D.C. They need to get a lot right. I don't see it happening against K.C. All right, well, let's get to the WTF stat for this game. And you know what it is? It's three. What does that mean? It's been three seasons since D.C. United have beaten Kansas City, which says something about the ability of Kansas City to get results, certainly, but also a little bit about how D.C. has struggled. Now, what's the pressure that D.C. United is feeling? How does that play into it? I think the pressure is, oh, my God, I might lose my job. I think these guys have to be concerned about their job. I'm not just talking about the coaching staff. I'm talking to players as well. You don't lose seven in a row and not have that sort of uh, innate fear for, for right. what you're doing. Right. Uh, Which only it, compounds itself if you're a player and it starts to pressure exactly. this guy. Exactly. Somebody on, on the fringes of the right. roster and maybe you go in there now trying to win it and you play a little bit dumb. There are so many things that, that DC have to worry about in this one. And the easy answer would be, just let Dwayne Di Rosario take care of it. But Dwayne Di Rosario is 34 years old now. Mm -hmm. He's not Dwayne Di Rosario five years ago. He can't go out and dominate games like he used to. And it doesn't look like he's going to against KC. They'll be very, very well prepared for him. Well, you bring up Dwayne Di Rosario. He is the focus of the man-to-man -man matchup for this game. You're talking about Dwayne Di Rosario going up against Oreo Rissell, who's a very young player, but he's shown that he can do all that work in the middle of the field for Kansas City. How do you see this one playing out? Well, I, I think what KC will do is try to push Di Rosario deeper and, and make him act not as a creator, but sort of as the tempo setter, that metronome in the D.C. midfield, whenever they do get on the ball, uh, they'll make him pick it up 70 yards from goal instead of 40 yards from goal. A lot it, less dangerous there. Exactly, and there are a lot of teams have had success against D.C. this year doing that, especially with Chris Ponte is gone, with, with De Leon coming back only you know, 45 minutes. No, I'm maybe saying more than 45. Maybe so an giving hour. Giving them an hour, come it, on. So they don't have the guys who can create those sort of chances. De Rosario is doing double duty. Rossell is a smart player. He'll know that whenever, whenever De Rosario is going to get on the ball, Rossell is going to be right in his face. And when he does get the ball, Rossell himself, he's got plenty of options, whether it's Zussi, Kamar. Don't forget Claudio Bieler, six goals on the season. You yeah. might expect that he's going to get a few more against D.C., maybe a few. You know, <laughs> maybe fantasy players out there will be excited about that. Well, what do you think is going to happen in this game? Let us know. You can tweet at us and use the hashtag DCVSKC. Or if you need more than 140 characters, just let us know in the comments below. Again, the game is at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. It's on Univision Deportes in the United States. It's on MLS Live, both in the U.S. and Canada. DC United hosting Sporting Kansas City. Enjoy.